You know what, I don't really know if I can do the rest of it. Um, maybe I should turn it off, actually. Yeah, I... I want to let have us go on the, for the whole for the whole time, but uh, I'm not so sure. Hello, Aston Master User here, and today we review the Adam Sandler, MGM's um, MGM's anime movie starring everyone's favorite kooky and spooky, mysterious and spooky f um, family that we all know and love, the Adam Sandler. Now, I I love the Adam Sandler. I I really do. I I. I, they're really, they're really great. They're, in a way, they're cultural icons. We all love them. They're, they're easy to love. They're, there's nothing like them. You, you love every, every one of them. They're all creative. They're, their personalities are, up and great. And yet, we all, we all can understand it. Now, I haven't seen everything. I've not seen the original comics. I've not seen. Um, the original TV shows, but what I have seen of them, I really do enjoy, especially the second live action movie, Adam Stanley Valleys. I love that movie. So, when I heard about MGM m making an anime movie on it, I was like, you know what? I can totally see that happening. I, I actually don't mind it. This isn't the first time they tried to do an anime one. Tim Burton and Illumination tried to team up to do a stop motion CGI hybrid. That didn't go to plan, but here comes this one. And it looks like the Adam Stanley. It's got the ideas of the Adam Stanley, but it's not quite the Adams family. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this, this is not a good movie. In fact, this is a but it's not a it's a, not a good movie. It's not bad, but it's a disappointing movie. So, what's the story? Well, you know the Adam Stanley. It's the the Adam Stanley itself, which are Gomez and Marisha, um, Wednesday, Pugsley, Fing, Fing, Uncle Festa. They they're living in there in a men in an, an abandoned asylum, and you know just doing their regular shtick, you know. But but things aren't. But things sort of change at the around the same time. Pugsley is supposed to do his tra complete his tradition of becoming an, a man in the Adam family. Well, apparently there's a housing commission going on outside their home in the suburb of, of New Jersey, which they live in. The family is well, outside of Gomez. Gomez and Wednesday really want um, get more want to start meeting people in the. In the place, but uh, it's not quite Mauricia's thing. Wednesday eventually convinces him to go to her go to school, and she makes a friend who also is an outcast, just like her, as a mother neglects her. But the mother meets the family, and she does not like them. She's a real estate guru, and she wants to run them out after they refuse to do any of her makeovers. So, and she's turned to rid out all the families as they arrive for Pugsley's big event. Well, yeah, this story is not good. In fact, the worst thing about this movie is the writing. Oh god, the writing. The script. It's not good. It's some of the worst I've seen in a movie, honestly. And... There's not really any funny moments in this. Um, yeah, they've got a couple of gags, but it seems like with this... Now, I I know from see other critics, uh, I mean, internet personalities, that most, most kids' movies seem to always release their best jokes as part of the trailers. And this seems like perfect understanding. I feel like all the best humorous moments happened in the trailers and what we got is just the tail scraps in the movie that we didn't see in the trailers. So yeah, it's yeah that that's 
That's some problems. The villain, I... Oh, what's the problem with villains these days in movies? I see. I mean... There are very few that I think really do stand out. Especially in terms of anime movies. And... Severe movies and... Yeah. Villains are hard to get right nowadays in film. Um... The climax and ending is just utterly trash. It's... Nothing really... Good. The animation is something that sort of goes... One of both ways. The animals only themselves look good. They look fine. Oh, with the exception of the pet lion kitty, that's... Yeah, he doesn't... He just looks like something from Arctic, from Arctic Dogs or something like that. The human characters, on the other hand... <laughs> they do not look good. I'll tell you that. They look weird, disjointed... And very creepy. In fact, to be honest, you don't need this plot. You could have just kept the animals at home and just have them deal with their own personal problems. And my big problem with this is they, they, the animals only themselves don't feel like themselves. Okay, they sound the same and they look the same. They're just not the same characters that we've grown to love. I mean, that um, I hear that it's going to get a sequel and maybe it can improve things, but you know, for now, I'm not sure if I can see the Adams family in these guys. Are there any pro pros? Well, yeah, there are a few. Well, as I said, the the designs of the Adams family in CGI actually do look good. I mean, things still looks hairy and, and and weird. You got Pesto who's still bold and hunched over. Mauricio is still as thin as ever. And Wednesday, I know a lot of people were concerned about why Wednesday looked when when the when the teaser room just came out. But honestly, I didn't mind how she looked then, and she still looks good now. And of course, you still got um, the voice acting's actually actually don't mind the voice acting. We're okay, Nick Kroll as Festa can go anyway. But everyone else actually does a really good job with with their character, and they feel like they are giving a good performance despite how bad the script is. Even cameos by by Bette Miller's grandma and and Snoop Dogg as Thing are actually okay to see. I will admit, Pong Klamoff's appearance as two twins that as two twins who are in the same class as Wednesday. It is strange to say the least about her being in it, and I hear Martin Shorts in this, but I forget what he was. But yeah, the voice acting for what it is is actually pretty good. As I said, Festa can go anyway. Sometimes I liked his voice, sometimes I didn't. Because to be honest, Christopher Lloyd is the true Festa for me, honestly. But yeah, for what he did, Nick Roll's alright. And of course, you still got the theme song. You still, it's still good, and it's good to hear it every now and then. But when, at the end in the credits, when they perform a bit of a hip hop, when they do sort of the modern take on it, and a different sort of, well, at least incorporate the theme in a different song, it's not good. But when they play the actual theme, whether it's the instrumental, or you actually hear the song at the end. You all want to clap, snap your fingers. So yeah, that's good. But in conclusion, I really did not like the Am Stanley. It's definitely the biggest disappointment for me. I had high hopes of this. I really was hoping that this would be a good movie. I mean, I got an idea that this wasn't through other internet celebrities and views and online and stuff like that and paper and even on TV but yeah nothing could really understand preparing for this point of feel when watching this uh, as I said this is getting, this is probably going this it says it gets gonna get a sequel hopefully it can approve hopefully two years can change um, 
a two year sequel can improve what a sequel in two years can improve the stand of this movie left. But regardless, uh, it's definitely a bad movie, but it's not a good movie, and it's definitely a disappointing movie. Definitely not a movie that you want to snap your fingers to. Why do I keep doing that if I'm disappointed in this? Well, in the end, I'm going to give us a two and a half out of ten half stars. Even a low of an Arctic Dogs Justice stuff. Oh, forget about that. Yeah, I know it seems this is probably a better movie than Arctic Arctic Dogs. I'll go by that. But this, this is a disappointment. And I feel like it had a lot more potential than what and what a similar entertainment put out as that second Norman and North theme movie. But yeah, this had a lot of potential and it definitely squandered it. So yeah. I'd say if you want to watch an anime movie this um this summer, you, you know, at least in Australia, you better all stick with Frozen 2. At the moment. I'm not gonna see it, I did not like the first movie. Honestly, I would. I you would watch Frozen Two now and wait for Spice and Disguise to come out next, or if you're going to wait for Play Real, that's also something. But if you want to see a better movie with similar ideas of the app as this movie, just watch the Hotel Transylvania movies. They're basically the same thing, and they're a lot great. They're actually funny, and humorous, and they've got characters that actually feel genuine, and they get you in a good um, spooky. Nice spirit. So, um, well, I just realized this year, in terms of me seeing movies, it hasn't all been smooth sailing. There have been a lot of movies I actually really. I still. In terms of movies this year, I've seen movies I consider. It's mostly a mixture of bland, bad, mediocre to okay at best. There have been some great ones, some amazing ones that is been Dragon Free, Endgame, um, Far From Home, and and even Detective Pikachu was a great surprise. But other stuff have been there, but everything else has I've been pretty disappointed. I've either watched and I thought were bad from the beginning, stuff that nah, I actually don't mind. I think it's just okay. In fact, I can even say Terminator Dark Fate was definitely a, a nice surprise. But there was some stuff that I've watched, Man Black International, Captain Marvel, that I liked when I watched them. But now I start to see more problems than I originally thought. Well, that. But, yeah, I'm gonna. I still got one movie left to see this year Star Wars. That's not actually released on my birthday, <sighs> so hopefully that's actually a good experience. Hopefully that can at least end things off in a good and on a on a good and high on a high note. And yeah, I will review that when that comes out. So in the mean, but in the meantime, I've got more Christmas movies to get to. So for the next time, next time you'll see me for my next Christmas video. Well. As my out, and take care.